Welcome back. It's our next episode in checking to make sure your child is ready to ride a bike or troubleshooting if they're having trouble riding a bike. So it's really important that besides the balance in their core um, is that they're able to steer and maintain their balance or look around and maintain their balance. Um, as the kids get older, it's checking for traffic, but younger kids still need to be able to look around because they wanna, they're going to be distracted by passing traffic or other things going on on the side. So we want to make sure they don't lose their balance in the meantime. This is my son, Dan, and I'm Kara from Kinetic Connections. And um, this is the second in three videos of how to make sure your child's ready for bike riding. Um, so Dan is sitting on an exercise ball. Your child can sit on a chair, on the floor, on, a, on their bike. Um, this is all pretty easy to check uh, independent of where they're sitting. Dan's holding on to a, a dowel rod, which is our fake handlebars. And what we're gonna demonstrate is what it should look like and some of the typical things you might find when it, the relationships are not working so well. So Dan, hold the handlebars out in front of you. Okay, so if I bring him to the right and to the left, we ought to see his core turn in sync with the um, dowel rod. And it's very centered, very even takes really no effort at all. Um, so Dan, I want you to turn it to the right and then turn it to the left. Okay, so it's even, it's easy. His core is staying centered and balanced. That's exactly what we're looking at. One of the faults that we may find is if we turn to the side is that the core and his whole body start to follow. So, whoa, it worked. <laughs> um, so you, what you'll find is the kids just look like they're starting to lose their balance. There's too much of them moving. The other um, one that's going to be a challenge is if we move arms and it's really hard, um, and this seems really counterintuitive, but we do find it, um, is if I try to move easily to the um, side, is that it's really stiff, like his body just has no idea how to easily move that way. It's kind of an all or nothing way of working. So. Um, again, I'm not going to show you how to make changes in this. It's just how to really pinpoint what is causing your child to be so uh, reticent to um, want to go bike riding. So the other part is, can they look around and the rest of their body stay stable? So again, Dan's going to hold on to the um, handlebar and I'm going to have him look, follow my hand. So look to the right, look to the left. And he's staying perfectly centered, which is exactly what we want to see. Um, trying to demonstrate what you may find is that when you look to the side that everything goes to the side. That's where your kid's gonna look to the side following something really interesting and they're gonna start falling over and that's where we get into um, trouble with bike accidents. Um, so those are the two uh, ways to check if balance is good while we're steering and also while we're looking around. The last in the series is we're gonna look at actual checking how we pedal and get some power. Um, so stay tuned for that.